Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the closing market news for 8th July. So, as we can see, Sensex and Nifty have performed very poorly today. Both indices have been in a completely downward spiral today. Sensex has ended 792 points down at 38,720 and Nifty has ended 252 points down at 11,558 level. So these uh, downward spiral trends today that were seen was mainly due to the budget hearing which occurred. So the post budget, the market has been down with Bajaj Finserve being the biggest loser among the Nifty 50 stocks, falling 10% followed by Bajaj Finance, ONGC, NTPC, Hero Motor Corp, IOC, India Bulls Housing, Finance, Maruti, LNT, Grassam Industries, and SBI, which dropped between 4 to 8%. However, Yes Bank and HCL Technologies bucked the trend and actually gained a little bit. The broader markets also fell sharply as the Nifty mid-cap and small-cap indices dropped over 2%. And in commodity market news, international Brent crude oil futures as of 4.50 p.m. Indian Standard Time are trading at $64.23 per barrel. The US WTI crude oil futures are trading at $57.50 per barrel. Gold prices are at 34,762 rupees per 10 gram, which is 0.52% lower than the previous close, higher than the previous close. Silver prices are at 38,114 rupees per kilogram, which is also 0.52% higher than the previous close. And in currency market news, the US dollar Indian rupee currency pair is trading at 68.67 rupees to the dollar, which is 0.34% higher than the previous close. And in other stock market news, Yes Bank shares rebounded after falling nearly 3% and hitting a fresh five year low. The shares of the country's largest car maker Maruti Suzuki hit a two year low of 6,151 rupees falling more than 3% intraday after the budget ignored the sector. The Indigrid has completed the acquisition of two power transmission assets from Sterlite Power for an enterprise value of 5,025 crore rupees. Punjab National Bank fell over 9% intraday after it detected a fraud of more than 3,800 crore rupees by Bhushan Power and Steel Limited and has reported it to the Reserve Bank of India. Hero Motor Corp fell more than 4% to trade around 2,406 rupees in noon after the budget failed to alleviate concerns faced by the auto sector, though it announced strong measures to improve liquidity. Goa Carbon shares plunged 8% after posting a loss of 5 crore rupees in the quarter ending June 2019 against a profit of 7.4 crore rupees year on year, though the revenue came in 11.4% higher at 139 crore rupees year on year. The EBITDA loss at 2.3 crore rupees against EBITDA of 14.6 crore rupees year on year. The average market capitalization of BSE listed companies have fallen 153.58 lakh crore as recorded on 4th July to 148.08 lakh crore rupees witnessed on July 8th which translates into a fall of over 5 lakh crore rupees. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to start trading in the stock market, you can click the link in the description and fill out your details and create your DMAT account with Alice Blues Brokerage Services. With this company, you'll get excellent exposures and margin for trading in the stock market.